foreign exchange rate let us discuss few important questions related to the macroeconomics the first question is the market price of us dollar has increased considerably leading to the rise in the rupee value of imports of essential goods now when the price of us dollar will rise that will what happen automatically the rupee value of imports will increase supposingly previously the imports were to the amount of 1000 now they will move to 1500 why so because the price of us dollar has increased now the question is how will rbi correct this situation now the central bank it will sell its reserves of us dollars in the money market why will it sell so that the pressure of demand for dollars in the market will get reduced when the supply will increase how will the supply increase when central bank will sell the us dollars the supply of us dollars in the market will increase now when the supply will align with the demand when the supply will become almost equal to the demand what will happen the price of us dollar will fall in terms of indian rupee so this is what the central bank will do to correct this situation it will sell off its reserves of the us dollars so that the pressure of demand for dollars in the market gets reduced next question is if the us dollar becomes expensive in terms of indian rupee is it good how is it good for domestic growth and how is it bad for domestic growth you are asked to give both the view points now it is good why so because the purchasing power of us dollar in indian market increases when the purchasing power of us dollar will increase the demand for domestic goods is expected to rise the goods which are home made in india the demand will rise therefore the exports will rise and we will see a definite increase in the rise in gdp okay now why is it bad it is bad because imports of essential capital goods become expensive as i told you in the previous slide if the imports were to the up to the mark of 1000 rupees they will increase to 1500 because the value of dollar has arisen now expensive capital goods they will become more expensive imports will become more expensive what will happen then the current account deficit will increase and the borrowings from the rest of the world will also increase so here is the good view point and here is the bad point third question is differentiate between the devaluation of domestic currency and depreciation of domestic currency now devaluation and depreciation both have certain thing in common in devaluation it is a fall in the value of domestic currency in depreciation also there is fall in the value of domestic currency so here also we see that the domestic currency falls here also we see the domestic currency falls but then there is a huge difference here in devaluation the value of domestic currency falls in relation to foreign currency obviously but this fall is planned by the government government wants the value of domestic currency to fall in relation to foreign currency why because here the exchange rate is not determined by the forces of supply and demand but this devaluation is fixed by the government of different countries here the government is planning willingly want to devaluate the domestic currency but when we talk about the depreciation depreciation is also a fall in the domestic currency in relation to foreign currency but here the exchange rate is determined by the forces of demand and supply in the international market this is not planned by the government devaluation is planned by the government both depreciation and devaluation they result in the fall of domestic currency in terms of foreign currency but devaluation causes a desired fall in the value of rupee this is desired fall why who is desiring this the government is desiring this so that the exports may be boosted 
right to boost the exports therefore the government may be willing to devaluate the currency so that the value of domestic currency falls and what is the hidden uh, you know hidden matter behind it what is the thought process of the government the government wants to boost the exports that is why this is a planned theory the devaluation is planned by the government but here it may cause undesired fall as well maybe a little undesired fall also can take place in the event of undesirable fall in the value of domestic currency the import bill of the government may become enormously high leading to a rise in the current account deficit and fiscal deficit to unmanageable limits now listen very carefully this your devaluation they are saying that it is planned by the government because government wants to boost the exports this is the point why government is willing to devaluate the domestic currency but many a time it can go in the opposite direction it can be undesirable as well and if it falls below that desired rate then what will happen the import will will shoot up which will lead to current account deficit and fiscal deficit to unmanageable limits and this creates a trouble for the government next question is how is appreciation of domestic currency likely to affect exports and imports of domestic economy when the domestic currency appreciates what will happen to the exports what will happen to the imports now when the domestic currency will appreciate the value of domestic currency will rise in relation to foreign currency for example dollar so appreciation of the domestic currency means the value of domestic currency rises when the value rises less rupees are required to buy 1 dollar you know some previously it was 100 maybe you were you will be needing 100 rupees to buy a dollar and when the domestic currency appreciates maybe you are okay with 80 rupees you spend 80 rupees and you will get a dollar so what i am saying is less rupees are required to buy a dollar so what will happen imports will increase therefore imports will increase now and the contrary what also happens is more dollars are required to buy a rupee please understand very carefully less rupees are required to buy a dollar and more dollars are required to buy a rupee accordingly the exports of the country are likely to fall okay next when foreign exchange rate in a country is on the rise what impact is it likely to have on the exports and imports and how if the foreign exchange rate will rise what will happen to exports and what will happen to imports is our question a unit of domestic currency will now buy less goods from the rest of the world while a unit of foreign currency can now buy more goods in the domestic economy see your domestic currency your indian rupee will buy less goods okay and your foreign currency dollar will buy more goods from your home market goods produced in the domestic economy they will become cheaper to the buyers abroad who are buying from your country for them your goods will become cheaper and for the domestic buyers when you are buying from your own country you are buying foreign goods they will become relatively expensive so for them to buy from india is cheap from india to buy from abroad becomes expensive as a result what will happen exports are expected to rise and imports are expected to fall next question is how is depreciation of indian rupee likely to affect indian exports when your rupee depreciates what will happen to indian exports depreciation of the domestic currency implies the domestic currency that is rupee it will lose its value in relation to dollar the value comes down now more rupees are required to buy 1 dollar pehle agar 80 rupees 1 dollar now 100 rupees 1 dollar so what will happen imports will fall you need more rupees to buy 1 dollar your import will fall a dollar can now buy more goods in the domestic economy therefore exports are expected to rise because with the same dollar 1 dollar you can buy now more goods therefore exports will shoot up they will rise so here i come to the end of the article i hope i have made the things clear to you in case you have any doubt please ask me in the comment section thank you for watching like and subscribe to my channel stay safe stay blessed